Remember that scene in the movie Jurassic Park when the T-Rex was on his way to scare the popcorn out of everybody? I think it was coming to eat Newman from Seinfeld. Or was that the flappy-faced dinosaur in the Jeep? I could be mixed up, it's been a while. Wait, what was my point? Oh, okay, I was talking about the cup of water scene, the vibrations, because now vibrations can tell you a lot more than that a T-Rex is coming. Here's Allie Ward to explain. You know what? It was definitely the floppy faced dino with Newman, wasn't it? This is Dr. David Eagleman, a Stanford University neuroscientist and co founder of a company called Neosensory. He and his team of scientists have created a wristband called Buzz that has vibratory motors in it designed to make the audible world more accessible to people who are deaf or hard of hearing. Sound is captured by the device and translated into patterns of vibration on the skin. The brain then learns to associate those vibrations with specific sounds. I've always been interested in the fact that all the information in the brain is taking place in darkness and silence. It's just electrochemical signals moving around. I began to wonder if we could get signals in there from a different channel and be able to perceive predicated on that. Hi. Hello, hi. Hi, Allie. Hi, Allie. I traveled to Menlo Park, California to learn more. Now, doctor, how did you decide to use skin essentially as a canvas for sensory input? Yeah, you know, normally we use our eyes and our ears. We have really good resolution there, but your skin is totally unused in modern life, and it's this terrific channel for passing information to the brain. Is there kind of a Morse code, a, a way to learn the different patterns and what they mean? Everything has to do with correlating it with other things. So for example, when a person who's deaf wears this, they see the dog's mouth moving and they feel the buzzing on their skin and that's how their brain puts it together. And so as long as the brain has ways of putting things together, it can learn it. So what happens is sound gets captured and broken up from high to low frequency, which is exactly what your inner ear is doing. We're essentially just taking the inner ear and transferring it to the skin. For people who are deaf and hard of hearing, it gives them environmental awareness. They know what's going on. Somebody's speaking to me, the baby's crying, there's a dog barking, my doorbell's ringing. They, they know what's happening around them that way. David says that Buzz stimulates 128 virtual points along the wrist. I really want to try this, can I? Please, turn on? Okay. hit the power button. Wow. So what you're feeling is your own voice now, and my voice now that I'm speaking. So go ahead and say something. I'm seeing squirrels in the trees. <gasps> oh, and I even, when I gasped, it was uh, on a different range here. La, 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 la. <gasps> you, you should be able to feel it move yes. as you go. After feeling the vibrations with my more attuned fingertips, I placed the band on my wrist and was able to increase and decrease the sensitivity by using the plus or minus sign. So if I turn the plus up, it might let me know that the birds or the chipmunks are exactly. making noise, but if I turn it down to the one dot, exactly. then that'll let me know if there's a, a truck rumbling past or an alarm going off. Exactly. Thanks to science, a whole new world of sensory awareness, safety, and sensitivity is within reach.